Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about the closure in JavaScript. What is closure? How it looks like structure-wise, syntactically, how it looks like, and then where exactly we have to use this closure when we go for closure. All these things we are going to cover as for this one. So simply, if anybody asks like what is closure means, you can say the answer like syntactically the function within the function. We can say like a closure. That means you can write one function inside that there one function one more function you can write it you can return and you can use that function okay then that structure if you see the structure is like that then you can say like it's like a closer when exactly you can go with this closer if the closer is not there what happened okay let me write one simple example let me open visual studio code just write one test.html file test.html file Okay, here my requirement is there has two buttons are there. Two buttons are there. This is my button one. This is my button one. Okay, has some content. This is my button two. Button two, it also has some content. Okay, let me run this one. Let me run this one. Now, if I click on the button, this count has to increment. If I click on the button, this count also has to increment. That is my requirement. Okay. Both buttons has to start with one only. So if I click on the button, so can I write like on click here? One method has to execute. Okay, function increment btn1. Write one more method. Function increment btn2. Okay, and then write the definition. Just write script, write the functions. You can write like function, function increment button one button one the next one function 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 increment button now first of all this particular one okay here also one should not be hot code okay these values should always change or not so that this value should be a dynamic this value should be dynamic so i want to keep some value here so that can we give one id like button one can i give some id for this also ID equals to BTM two, BTM two. So the first ones are required so that you can put like one, no problem at all. Now at the time of clicking on the button, by default my value is like what? Value one is like one. So at the time of clicking on the button, you should have to increment that value or not. You should have to increment that value. Once you increment this value, that value has to update here or not. If you want to update inside this particular button, First of all, get the button reference. Now we can get it. my document dot query selector, query selector of what BTM one. Okay, here you can write like inner text, inner text is equals to my value one, value one. Same theory I can follow for the second button also. Here my value, both are like different, different values. Whenever you click on the button, then only that values has to change. Now here, my value two has to change. My ID is like a button two and my value is like value two. Okay, so far we not use closer. What's the problem with this code? First we'll explain and then how to overcome that problem by using closer, we'll see. Now, can I refresh my page? Okay, if I click on this one, yeah, working as expected or not? Working as expected. Here the problem is these two variables are like a global. If any variable is like global, anyone can change this value or not anyone can change this value or not. I want to protect these values. I want to protect these variables. Then I can protect, whenever these variables are like a local, no one can touch that one or not. No one, no one can use it. That is like local is nothing but the scope is this much only. For the local value two for this particular function is nothing but scope is this much only. These guys only can use it, remaining people can't. So that, can we keep this one? Keep this one here. Can I keep this one here to protect, to protect? Okay, now, if I put like this, if you observe here, see, my requirement is not satisfied. Always do only how many times you click it. Always do only how many times you click it. Okay, here the problem is, every time my value got reset or not, my value got reset. So here, this particular val variable value should be, variable should be protected, is nothing but make it as like a local. At the same time, my functionality also should be what? Like that you have to make it or not. Then this value, line number seven statement should have to execute only one time. And these two statements has to execute for every button click or not. Like this, you have to write the code. Okay, you can separate it. Two functionalities are there. One is like 
this particular function, this particular statement has to execute one time. This functionality has to execute for every button click. So can we do one thing? Can we write this piece of statement in one more function and give this function to this particular function for every button click? So how we can just create one more function here. Now see, the function is in the function. Okay, write on this function. We have to give this function to this guy or not. So that written this written this function. Now these statements you can keep here. Same like this here also. Written, written my function, open one and close one. These statements we can keep here again. These statements we can keep here again. Now the thing is, if you click on the button, if you click on the button, this method is going to execute. Every time this method is going to execute, the value got reset. Don't call this method every button click so that remove this method from this button click here also. This method has to execute how many times? Only one time. This function has to execute for every button click or not so that call this function manually like this. Function increment button click call it. Okay, now if you call this function, they, that guy is going to return some more function or not so that can we hold it? Function increment, function increment button one, function increment button one, which function that is Okay, inner function or not? Okay, just you can write like a inner button inner. Okay, whenever you call this function, this function is going to return. I keep that function in one variable. Now this variable can I give to this guy? Okay, same like this, same like this. Can we call the second method also? Can we call the second method also? If I call the second method only one time, one time I call. Then the time the value is going to be assigned for my value to and returns this function, this function, this function is going to call for every button click so that this function, I want to give it to this guy. I want to give it to my button on click handler. Now see, from here, can I refresh my page? Can I click on this one? Yes, my functionality is working as expected or not. Now see this, the function which is the function, we can say like a closer. When you go for closer to product your variables or not, create one variable, not like a global one. If you put like a global, anyone can access it or not. Just keep this variable inside this particular function. No one can touch this variable or not. That is used by only this guy, okay, who required or not. The product, the variables, you can go with what? Closer or not. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.